Good morning, folks. Gorgeous umbral magnetic field activity on the sun's northern incoming quadrant. We'll hit top science news today as well, but we're starting with our star. And we find the last 24 hours were quiet in the Earth-facing features. Coronal hole turns through central heliographic longitudes. Bright active regions incoming behind it on the north. Solar wind is beginning to amplify pressure on the magnetosphere as the coronal hole stream is beginning to arrive. Could be some geomagnetic activity and aurora the next couple of days. Let's go to earthquakes where we've got a double on pre-seismic electromagnetic signals. It's amazing to watch this subfield take off as they now can't look at any significant earthquake without finding the pre-quake electromagnetic signature of its approach. Some of them are hours before, some begin days to a couple weeks early. Still hoping the scientists put this into a working warning model for real life. Chapter 7 of our book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, is all about earthquakes and how they give themselves away. Up next, another outstanding look at past solar disasters with tree rings. Interesting that they can identify the millennial cycle of such events, which usually can't be found by using such a small sample of trees. The last such event was a bit more than a thousand years ago, putting us in a bit of a red zone for the next one, which would easily fry the world's electrical grids. Veteran observers, let's put this one in the books. Mars mantle is active, yet another confirmation. Remember, while astronomers and planetary scientists claimed they were mistaken before about it being a dead planet, that's almost surely not the case. It's just woken up recently as the entire solar system shifts due to the increasingly energetic galactic interaction. Lastly, folks, this is probably not a good sign. Gamma ray bursts are almost never detected in the ionosphere, and when they are, it's a faint signature and always on the night side. This one produced a dayside signature and was about as powerful as a moderate solar flare. Now, while the perturbation itself is not a concern for our planet, like moderate solar flares are not a concern for our planet, the fact that this happened likely signals a further weakening of the magnetic field, an easier pathway for energy from space to impact the layers below. The excursion marches on. Tomorrow we'll be having a mini observers event at the pumpkin patch. Been a while since we did a whole family friendly event and for those in the area, hope to see you out there. Link is below the video in the description box along with a lot more. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.